Hello there, folks. This is Uncle Troy. Today we're playing Minecraft, the uh, Feed the Beast mod, the Mindcrack 8.2.0 mod pack, and today we're playing around with the Autarchic Gates, Autarchic Gates, however you pronounce that. Those things right there. And we are going to uh, turn this off. We are going to uh, improve our uh, experience grinder here a bit uh, by replacing some redstone engines, which you can see under there, with uh, one of these gates as soon as these uh, things all fall and die. Oh, I've gained another couple of levels just sitting here. All right, so this is our basic experience grinder. Uh, let's go over here and show you a bit of what uh, is going on. Sneak up here. Okay, uh, using the portal gun, I uh, move several spawners here. You see we've got about uh, four zombie spawners, five skeleton spawners. One started right there. Um, in the corner, or in the edges, rather, you can see we have uh, jack-o'-lanterns with pistons that can drop a block and uh, turn off the light, which causes these things to spawn. They fall down here, get pushed over here, they swim up here, again and pushed over here, and then they fall down and get hit by the turtle. Go up a little higher, you can see another section, and this one has nine red cap goblin uh, spawners, which were picked up in hollow hills in the twilight forest. Again, we have uh, jack-o'-lanterns and pistons to turn these off. These fall down uh, because I couldn't get them to swim up correctly. And as you can see, these are just on either side of above or uh, picking up a lot of experience there. The uh, skeleton spawners are right behind us, and the um, red cap goblin spawners are up above us when we're there in our experience gathering area. Let's hop back down here. By the way, you don't want to go through here unless you have a jetpack because these water currents or whatnot are made specifically so that people can't jump out. Otherwise, the mobs could jump out. Alrighty, let's uh, pick up a few of these blocks here. Oh, also part of this uh, this experience grinder are these brains in a jar, which I believe is a Thomcraft thing. And I don't know enough about Thomcraft to tell you how these work, so don't ask. Let's uh, fill in a little of this. Anyway, so what happens is this here uh, turtle has a program called Stab. Uh, edit Stab. And as you can see, it's nothing but while true do, turtle attack up, end. And I'm going to pause here for a second, so anybody that wants to write that down can. But this is the simplest, easiest program. And ideally, in between here, um, should be some kind of sleep command. Something like that. Just so this thing is not constantly running. It, But so far, it hasn't... Uh, caused any problems running like this exit and uh, as you can see it's called stab you could copy it to uh, start up and anytime you uh, come into the uh, the server is restarted or you come into the area and this thing loads then it will automatically run uh, the program as you can see it just kind of sits there and waits um, but because we discovered that the problem with this uh, thing and the reason why I had gone to two turtles uh, was because the turtles could not drop to a chest fast enough and get back to stabbing and would run behind on the mobs. Oh, also note that... Um, stop again. Edit stab. Also note that we're attacking up because the turtle is below 
where the mobs are dropping. Exit, please. Thank you. Uh, because if you, the turtle was, say, behind there and smacking out, the range on the turtles, even with a sword, is, an, is shorter than a block, so things could fall and land in a way, way where they could not, uh, the turtles couldn't hit them, which I think is a problem some people are having now. But in order to, since the turtles couldn't drop the uh, stuff from the inventory into a chest fast enough, we put three redstone engines here, which we're now going to remove. Along with these, uh, oops, efficiency picks, just a little too efficient here. We're going to remove these along with all these levers and fill this in. Okay, and we're going to put a gate here, an Antarctic gate. And we're going to tell it if there's things in the inventory, send a energy pulse. Which means if there's something in the inventory, which the turtle's storage here counts as an inventory, then we're going to send an energy pulse, which should act like a redstone, uh, redstone signal. And we're going to give that a try. And once again, yes, that seems to be working. We have things coming down. Now the question is, will that be fast enough to keep up once this thing gets to full speed? And apparently it is, because these things are coming out pretty darn quick. Yep, they're hardly uh, backing up in the in the inventory at all. So that is a better way to do the um, do the experience grinder. Alright, let's fill this in. Little smooth stone to keep it pretty. Put our trap door here and uh, I thought the trap door was just so you could do this and you could be safe things couldn't like sneak up on behind you uh, but actually love squid says he just put that there so he could throw away stuff to, and wait for it to despawn alrighty that is working pretty darn good um, as you can see, we have a setup here where the items, um, they're pumped over this way. They come up uh, over here, actually. And then they go around and get sorted into various uh, chests, as you can see. That's full of bone, full of bone, rotten flesh, rotten flesh. Oops. Zombie heads, arrow, arrow. You do not have to. Okay. And then things that uh, are uh, have durability, like the pickaxes and the bows, go into auto crafting tables where they are combined and then sent back. Because uh, for these boots, for example, uh, oops, shift. As you can see, that's a fully repaired boot. And if we were to try to combine a less than fully repaired boot, which I don't have one handy, uh, it would not fit. As you can see, we have plenty of rotten flesh, plenty of bones, plenty of arrows, uh, boots, taters, um, iron pickaxes, and coal. All right up down here and pick up any excess experience. The brains in the jar store experience, but they only store so much and after which you uh, you end up uh, spilling over. So what I could do is replace these uh, redstone engines here with more autarctic gates, but 
uh, they're up here out of the way and they don't have to be overly efficient because these crafting tables are only picking it, you know, sending out one or two of these at a time. So we're going to just leave that as it is for now. So what else were we going to do with gates today? We were going to automate our uh, charcoal farm a little better. Let's go over this way. I'll meet you back at the base.